Danielle from Rosetta Vera. Um, today I'm bringing you an opening of these new markers I got from Jet Pens. These are the Paper May Flare Felt Tip Markers in Special Edition Tropical Vacation. So these have a 0.7 millimeter felt tip. Um, they're medium point. Um, I feel like I saw them in somebody's video and that was kind of how they caught my eye. Um, so these are supposed to be smear and fade resistant and they're not supposed to bleed through. So let's open them up. Of course, they're not gonna open up anyway because that's just my life. All right, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six markers in this pack. I don't know if the markers have names. Let me look at them really quickly. Um, let's see. No, they just say Paper Mate Flare Medium. There's actually no name on the actual markers. Um, I'm going to take out a notebook and just, you know, write with them a little bit so you can see how they write. Um, so, before we get started. All right, so, let's see what order do we want to go in. I don't remember how they were in the package, so I'm going to start there. So I'm gonna start with this little peachy color. No. So they write like what I remember flare markers writing like. Um, I always had a lot of flare markers as a kid to write with because my mother would get them from the office. So they have that stiff kind of nib. They don't, they're not really flexible. So like if you wanted to do any kind of coloring or anything, um, you, you have to move a lot because it doesn't cover a big area. If you were into calligraphy, I don't think you would be able um, to get much give. Absolutely not. Like if you were just, um, I mean, they could be good for journaling because it's such a stiff point, but if you were doing any kind of special um, lettering, these would not work for that. Um, I think they would be good for like detailed work in art, artwork, I definitely would say they're not worth um, using for coloring in anything. But line work, they could be nice. This one is has a little more flat flow to it. But again, by coloring, not the best. These colors are very similar. I'll say right now, I'm not that impressed with the colors here. I'm probably gonna rewrite this page just to make it a little bit neater. But right now, eh, I'm feeling kind of so-so about them. Again, I haven't used Paper Mate flares in a really long time. So I forgot about how they feel, but I definitely used to color with them as a kid. I like the purple, the color of the purple. But if you are a person who journals, you might enjoy these. And like I said, I can see using them for some detail work. Um, what I might want to do is kind of play with some stamps and see if you can use them like for details on some stamps. 
like kind of like rubbing the color on a stamp or stamping with them if they would stay wet long enough to do that. You probably hear my lunch dinging in the back. Um, so far, I like those two colors. And this is the final marker. Um, this is reminding me a little bit of the pink ones where it doesn't feel very pigmented. So that's it for the Papermate flares um, and the Tropical, what's it, Tropical Vacation color pack. Um, I don't know if there are more colors to this collection. Um, I have another pack of markers that I'm going to open that was a larger pack. Thank you.